Nicola Hill joins us now from London. Nicola, good to see you. What more can you tell us about this? Well, it was a really interesting study, actually, carried out by the um, infectious disease specialists at the University of Hong Kong. In fact, it was a team who were involved in discovering SARS. And what they had, as, as you said, Maria, they had cages of hamsters. One group had been infected with COVID-19. Another group were healthy. Three experiments. The first one just left next to each other with a fan to spread respiratory droplets between the two cages. The second experiment, they put a surgical mask in front of the healthy hamster's cage, and they discovered that in, in that group, the amount of people, amount of people, the amount of hamsters infected was 33%. In the in the cages where you had no mask between them at all, 66% of the healthy hamsters were infected by the hamsters who'd been given COVID-19. But what was really interesting was the third experiment. And this one had the surgical mask in front of the infected hamster's cage. So this was obviously blocking what they were breathing out. And in this case, they found that only 16.7% of the hamsters who were healthy then contracted COVID-19 and they had much less of the virus. So as you say, this definitely adds weight to the argument that wearing a mask does help prevent the spread of COVID-19. And the, the lead author of this study, Professor Ewan, certainly advocates that. But the WHO at the moment is still saying that the only people who should wear masks are either people who have got COVID-19 or people who are caring for those who've got COVID-19. They argue that wearing a mask might lead people into a false sense of security and stop them from keeping the social distancing and washing their hands. Nicola, and uh, a question that I've been asking my colleagues here in the newsroom, um, what is the long-term impact of wearing a mask? Because, for example, I wear it at work, I wear it outside, I even wear it, and I have stopped uh, doing this, while I'm jogging. And sometimes, throughout the day, I feel extremely dizzy, and sometimes I, I don't have enough breath. Yeah, in fact, research has now said that you don't need to wear it whilst you're out jogging, unless, of course, you have to because of um, government rules. Um, what, what some research has shown is that people who have been wearing the N95 masks, now these are the ones that are part of PPE, um, a study was done on healthcare workers in Singapore, and it did show that by the end of the day, these people had really bad headaches from wearing these masks that are very tight fitting. And I've spoken to intensive care uh, nurses over here in the UK, they said exactly the same thing, these N95 masks do that. There was a small study of surgeons who were wearing the surgical masks um, and they found that their oxygen levels did drop at the end of a long surgery because of wearing this surgical mask. But I was talking to a cancer specialist this morning and she said to me that you really need to keep changing the mask between patients, perhaps if you're a doctor. If you're wearing one and you're not wearing it for medical reasons, but you're wearing it to protect other people, you should be changing these every few hours because they become soggy. And um, that's if it's a surgical mask. And if it's a cloth mask, you should also be changing them and then washing them at 60 degrees to make sure there's no virus on them. And of course, there is concern about the way people take their masks off. You know, you should be taking it off from behind, not touching the mask at all, because those virus droplets that you hopefully prevented coming into you will be on the front of the virus. So they are stuffy. I mean, I, I wear one here when I go shopping. We don't have to wear them in the UK. It's just advisory. And I know that it's by the end of wandering around the shops wearing one in 27 degrees heat, which we have in London at the moment, you certainly feel very stuffy. You feel very breathless. But of course, the advice is, and this research from um, Hong Kong has, has confirmed it, if I wear a mask, I'm protecting you. And if you wear a mask, you're protecting me. So hopefully we're preventing the spread of the virus. Absolutely. And that is the, the most important thing. Nicola Hill, thank you so much for your time.